is Fox 45 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Maxine Stryker. And I'm Riel Creighton. Kai and Mary are off tonight. Our top story, Mayor Brandon Scott sits down with the front runner in the city state's attorney's race, Ivan Bates, to talk about the future of Baltimore. This comes as Fox 45 News gets a clearer picture of what's going on on city streets, particularly when it comes to squeegee kits. Tonight, one man says that he was confronted by an armed squeegee worker just yesterday. And another story of terror, a squeegee kid attacking a driver, breaking her windows with her one year old child inside the car she says i don't feel safe going to the city i can't tell you we've only been to the city one other time and i had anxiety attack just going there and she grew up here and i grew up in the city well we have live team coverage starting with keith daniels and those victim stories keith what did they tell you well we out as you can imagine seeing someone with a gun at a stoplight and then have someone damage your car, that could be a pretty frightening experience. And tonight, those victims say they want city leaders to hear their stories. In Baltimore City, what to do when confronted by squeegee kids and things turn violent? I was terrified. I was calm. Um, I don't think I, I started crying or anything until I called my husband. Helen Bryant says she was stopped at the light on Charles Street at West Conway Street with her one-year-old daughter in the back seat when a squeegee kid who looked to be about 13 or 14 years old walked up to her car. He doesn't say anything. He proceeds to spray my window. I rolled out my window saying, no, thank you, have no cash. He sticks his um, head in the cracked window and calls me a fat and proceeds to hit my car. Look at the pictures. Brian says that kid and several others started damaging her vehicle, cracked the windshield, did more damage to the back window, shattered glass just inches away from her daughter. Brian drove off, called police, and was stunned by what she heard when they arrived. I was like, we can't do anything. Our hands are tied. Blamed it on state's attorney. I don't mean to impugn the Baltimore City Police Department, but when their hands are tied by a decision made by a higher up and people are getting hurt, I couldn't believe it. I was speechless. Very disappointed in Baltimore city leadership. Brian's incident happened in July last year. Going public now, they say, pushing for change in policy. But just yesterday... It's giving me chills right now, like, talking about it. A terrifying encounter for Brian Smith, who was on his way home from work when he stopped at the light on Russell Street near M&T Bank Stadium. A squeegee kid approached him. I said, I, I don't want my windows done. I'm, I'm all right. And then he like lifted up the shirt like and there was a gun right there. As soon as the light turned green, there was three guys standing in front of my van so I couldn't move. That's when Smith says one of the squeegee kids reached inside his window, grabbed a cell phone from his lap, used a payment app to swipe $200 from his bank account. There was nothing I really could do. After I, I saw the gun, I'm going to com comply to whatever they're doing. You know, I, I don't want to get shot or anything. I went from like, like upset and like scared to death and to like angry because, you know, like they, they got a good bit of money from me and, and it's not it's not fair to me. Well, we're told so far no arrest in Brian's case, but meanwhile, Mr. Smith says he was on the phone today with detectives who told him, who told him rather, they are reviewing surveillance footage trying to identify suspects. We're live tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. Well, viewers have been flooding our newsroom with videos and stories of heated interactions with squeegee kids for weeks now. This one here shows a squeegee kid ripping the windshield wipers right off the car. Another video shows a pretty similar situation at another intersection. This one shows a squeegee kid ripping the windshield wipers off a car before walking away. And this viewer video right here shows the driver saying no to a squeegee kid and telling him to get away from the car before the two get into a physical fight. The squeegee kid throwing a punch at that driver. And a viewer sent us this video earlier this week. It appears to show a group of squeegee kids punching a driver before he can get back into his car and drive away. If you have had a violent interaction with a squeegee kid, we want to hear about it. You can submit your videos to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash chime in, or send us an email at news at foxbaltimore.com. 
Well, there are laws in place that would keep squeegee kids off the streets, but Mayor Brandon Scott and City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby have said they will not use them to clear the corners. One law states that a person cannot stand in a roadway to solicit a ride, employment, or business from the occupant of any vehicle or a driver. Another statute targets aggressive soliciting, defined by actions like intentionally blocking, interfering, using, a, or using obscene language, or intimidation. Critics say by not enforcing these laws, the mayor is betraying his oath of office. Laws there are. Yeah, laws there are. That oath states that leaders will be, quote, faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland and support the Constitution and laws thereof. Well, frontrunner in the city state's attorney's race, Ivan Bates, has said he will uphold those laws and prosecute squeegee kids if necessary. That goes against what we have heard from Mayor Scott, who says the squeegee kids are protected under the First Amendment. Jeff Abel joins us live now with a look at what happened when the two met earlier today and why some say the mayor's argument just doesn't hold up. Jeff? Well, you know, the city has long maintained that squeegee kids are protected under the First Amendment of the Constitution. But tonight, some legal analysts are saying something else. Among the lunch crowd at the Capitol Grill this afternoon was the mayor and state's attorney nominee Ivan Bates. On the table, a discussion about the problems out on the streets. While they talked policy inside, squeegee kids were hustling intersections outside. A problem Bates insists must stop. We have to find a way to remove them. Are we seeing solicitation charges? Probably not, I'm guessing. And That um, would be correct. The city has done little to clear the intersections. Good afternoon. At a hearing on Wednesday, the city's deputy solicitor told council members that squeegee kids have a right to be there. We believe that panhandling and solicitation are First Amendment protected activities. The Supreme Court has ruled that those who panhandle and solicit donations are protected by the First Amendment, but several legal analysts say the actions of squeegee kids go far beyond what the law protects. Talking about an individual going into the street, blocking traffic, not allowing a car to move forward and to walk in between each car and solicit their service cleaning windows is in violation of 50-56. The Supreme Court has never said that you can't stop somebody from interfering with a driver of a vehicle while that person is in a lane of traffic. Um, that's crazy. That's not speech. That's conduct. We all have a series of rights, which the Supreme Court has clearly indicated over the years can be limited for various reasons. I think it's apples to oranges in this kind of in, in this type of comparison. As squeegee kids continue to flood the intersections, the city vows only to take action if they damage or do harm to others. City politicians have made a lot of excuses over the years for why they can't get things done. This, I think, is another situation where they are identifying obstacles when there aren't any because they have, they lack the political will to do what needs to be done. Well, the mayor provided few details after that lunch meeting today, only to say he does plan to work with Bates to provide a safer Baltimore. We're live tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Ivan Bates will face independent candidate Roya Hanna come November's general election. Tomorrow, the two candidates will hold a joint news conference to talk about the future of the state's attorney's office. We'll have full coverage both on air and online. Now to an update on the case that made national headlines. A 15-year-old squeegee kid charged in the death of a Baltimore driver. Earlier this month, 48-year-old Timothy Reynolds was shot and killed after an altercation with a group of squeegee kids. A preliminary hearing was supposed to be held today, but it was postponed. The teenager's defense is requesting the state drop one of the eight charges against him. The one for first degree murder, which would push the case into a juvenile court from juvenile court. Attorney Kurt Nachman says that evidence will likely be key in that decision. They're looking at whether or not there is either perfect self-defense or imperfect self-defense that would be sort of obvious from the video. Um, in other words, if the defendant believed that he were in imminent fear of bodily harm, either reasonable or unreasonable. The preliminary hearing has been rescheduled to mid-August. We want to know what do you think as we learn more about these squeegee encounters. 
Should the city clear the streets? So far, 93% of those who have voted say yes. You can head to foxbaltimore.com vote to weigh in.